Hello, my name is Stefan Ullenbrock. I'm the Acting Vice Rector of Academic and Student Affairs here at UNESCO IG. In addition, I'm also the Professor of Hydrology. So I'm responsible for the Hydrology and Water Resources program and the research related to hydrology and water resources. At UNESCO IG, you study uh, in a very international, multicultural atmosphere. We have participants from all over the world. Um, we run different master programs, master of science programs. We have uh, one program in water science and engineering, one in water management, one in environmental science, and uh, municipal water and infrastructure. Uh, our master programs here at UNESCO IG are fully accredited according to the criteria we have here in the Netherlands. They are very much demand driven, so we collaborate a lot with the water sector in general to, to think about what are the important uh, subjects that we have to cover, what are from an academic point of view very important, but uh, also what are the important themes to have in the programs to make them effective professionals later. Therefore we collaborate with uh, professionals in the water sector in the Netherlands, but also a lot in the developing countries. We set up quite a number of different master programs with uh, universities and knowledge institutes in the global south. Research is an essential part of our master education as well. It starts in the very early modules already that you have some students follow some research training, they are exposed to new problems. But uh, then there's a lot of emphasis on the master research in the last part of the curriculum. That's the Master of Science research phase. Students at UNESCO IG are so-called mid-career professionals. So they come here and they have already some work experience. Usually we say a minimum of three years working experience. That means they, they know exactly what they want. They know questions, they know the issues, and they can share their experiences with each other. The curricula at UNESCO IG are designed according to the T-shaped model. That means we want to produce graduates with a T-shaped profile. What is a T-shaped profile? Well, a T, we understand the letter T looks like this. A T has a, a vertical leg and a horizontal bar. The vertical leg stands for the understanding of the discipline the students ha have chosen. It's about the cognitive knowledge about water engineering, aquatic ecosystems, whatever. While the horizontal bar stands for a basic understanding of neighboring disciplines. It's about um, other skills and competencies uh, professional needs to be effective. While studying at UNESCO IGE, the participants build up a very intense uh, relationship to their lecturers and professors. In total, we have 170 staff members at UNESCO IGE and about 90 faculty. In addition, we have about 250 guest professors or guest faculty, we call them. The relation with the lecturers are also long-lasting. We have now almost 15,000 alumni and uh, still many uh, very good relations between the students and uh, former students, I need to say, and the uh, lecturers.